Hey guys, we're back. We're looking at Wolverine construction figure from X Men ninety nine uh, ninety seven, and uh, yeah, it's one of these big builds. So there is the Wolverine. Very excited about this. This is the Wolverine from my childhood. It's like the comic book and Fox cartoon, all rolled into one big package. <clears throat> <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Right. So, the only thing I don't like about it, we're going to start with negative, is the way his neck is attached on this joint. There's nothing here to, like, fill in his neck. So he looks like he's really hunched. But from the front, that looks awesome. If I just it that way, and it's, again, one of those really poseable figures. Um, I love the blend of the yellow and the orange to give it, you know, a bit more dimension. The boots are wicked. Um, and the flesh pieces to make up the skin. So a lot of these figures are um, fully costumed. So Wolverine's the first one where we really get to see a lot of exposed skin. And it did worry me about how it would work. But yeah, it's really good. Um, again, really poseable. Not sure how I'm going to pose this guy. Ooh, probably similar to how he was before I started interfering with him. Um but yeah, he's got these joints, his ankles and his feet and his knees that just make him, you know, so posed we can do a lot with. But yeah, the only real downfall is that neck joint. Um, so a lot of them just have a joint that joints on the top. But yeah, with this dodgy neck looking thing. But other than that, he is great. I'm loving the X-Men are back in Lego. Guys, till next time, stay safe, keep fab.